Hello guys and welcome to this how to be goth go or goth tutorial video. My name is Eroy and today I will try to teach you how to be goth. Let's start. First of all you have to buy a lot of spike bracelets. A lot of spikes, you need to wear a lot of spikes. Uh, then you have to wear a lot of chains on your clothing, on your pants, uh, on your neck like this. A lot of chains. Um, you need to buy a drinking horn like this because it's fucking brutal. The last thing you will need is a fucking cow. Okay, now let's be serious. Um, of course you also noticed that I was kidding about this shit. Um, but sadly enough that is how a lot of gothic tutorials be like or are like or begin. They sit in front of the camera and they will be like if you want to be gothic you have to wear a lot of black. You have to wear fucking new rock boots. You have to wear chains and fucking... No. Okay, there is no dress code for being goth. So, if you ask a goth how to be goth, you will hear a lot of different comments on that question. Um, but, today I will try to teach you a little bit about how to be goth, how to be in the gothic subculture. But first, we will hear what others would say. So, Mr. Mainstream, what would you say? How to be a real goth? Thank you, Zeroy. Well, if you really want to be a, a goth, there are only a few things you have to do. I think about four. First of all, you have to be depressed. All goths are depressed. That's why, the second thing, they only wear black. You only have to wear, you, you may, may only wear black clothing if you want to be a real goth, of course. Um, also, goths cut themselves because they are very depressed. Is that right, Zeroy? Shut up. Um, so, yeah, black clothing, depressed, cut yourself. That's what, e what emos or goths or whatever do. Uh, the last thing is about the music. You, you, they only listen to this music they call uh, metal. Metal, yeah. You know, they, they go like this. The metal, yeah. Uh, th this loud, fucked up music. Metal. Be depressed, cut yourself, um, wear black, listen to metal. Now you are a real god. Or no. Is that even right? Well, thank you Mr. Mainstream for your opinion, but unfortunately that's complete f bullshit, okay? Just bullshit people. Well, first of all, goths are not depressed. Maybe some of them are, are depressed, but seriously, who isn't? Goths are as often depressed as normal people. Um, then the second thing, dress code. I managed it before, there is no dress code for being gothic. And if, seriously, if I'm naked, if I take a shower, I won't take a shower like this, okay? I will be naked. And if I'm naked, I'm still goth. I'm as goth as before. Okay, so. Um, all these things with black clothing, yeah, most of the goths wear only black. But there is no dress code, you know? If you don't want to wear black, don't wear black. Okay, let's uh, talk about what I think, how to be goth. So, I will try to explain it on an easy way. Uh, the most important thing about being goth that I would say is um, don't be like a tourist will visit the scene or who, vis who will visit the uh, subculture for some days, weeks or months and then leave. If you want to be goth, then be goth, but be goth for 
ever, okay, you don't have to be God forever. I think I will, a lot of people will, uh, but don't be like, hey, I'm uh, today I'm emo, tomorrow I'm goth, and next week I will be punk. No. If you want to be goth, be goth, but be goth for a very, very long time. Um, we can talk about the real goths. You see the Bad Cave logo about there. We won't now. Uh, for me, a real goth is someone who is goth for a very long time. Uh, the second and very important thing is learn about your scene, learn about your subculture. There are so many goths today and I don't want to talk, talk about, like I said, I don't want to talk about real or fake goths. But for me a fake goth is someone who, like I said, who is today I'm emo, tomorrow I'm goth. Hey, are you goth? Yes, I am goth. Oh, tell me, um, what is the nicest thing you know about gothic? Oh, thanks for asking. I think Nightwish is the best thing on being gothic. That's what I mean. Learn something about the culture. Go on Google or read some books. Where did goth start it? Uh, from what you, you should at least know that goth came from punk. Okay? That's the main thing you just need to know. I don't say that you need to know all of the music, all of the bands, but you need to know a little bit about what is goth, where did it start it, stuff like that. The third thing, some of you guys, maybe, or girls, maybe thinking, wait, he told us about the black clothing and you can wear whatever you want and you don't have to buy spikes and chains and a drinking horn. But maybe you guys want to know how to be, how to dress up goth. Well, that's a whole different topic. And for that, we will listen to another guy, Mr. Black Metalhead, explain us something, what you think, how, goth, how goths should dress up. We have sale. Suffocate, may he rot Get the Bible close to me This book of life I shall not cast into the sea This is You hold your tongue I rip it out and have you Hang from you I slowly penetrate this dead death by cursing rage, hot for dumb and raising and violent, I'll be taken to my throat! Oh. oh, sorry guys, I forgot. Well, like Zero told you before, wear a lot of black clothing. Also, wear a lot of spikes, more spikes. As a goth, you can also wear corpse paint, but only if you want. Wear some brutal shirts, wear some brutal stuff, just black, only black, black as black metal! Black metal! I'm sorry, back to you, Zero. Well, thank you, Mr. Black Metal Hat. Um, well, like Mr. Black Metal Hat said, we're black. Okay, I just managed, um, managed, you don't always have to wear black. Um, but, of course, most of the goths wear black. I personally really like the color. Some people be like, what? Black is depressing and stuff like that. No, I really love the color black. I even think it's romantic. And yeah, I, I could imagine that some of you guys now are like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? But yeah, I think black is a romantic color. Um, one of the main things you have to keep in mind if you want to be a goth, if you want to dress up like a goth. And that's, I think that's even more important for me than this uh, tourist, tourist shit I managed before. I think the very most important thing 
you have to keep in mind if you want to be a god is be individual. Be indi individual. I'm sorry. Um, I know these cyber goths, and like I said, I, I also don't want to talk about cyber goths a lot now, but I have to talk about them for a short moment. Uh, there are two types of cyber goths. There are the cyberpunks and the cyber goths. The cyberpunks, you know, the word punk is in that. Uh, they make most of their clothes, clothing themselves. The masks, they they make their masks themselves. They are individual, not like anyone else. And unfortunately, um, and by the way, I don't want to talk bad about some of you people who've watched this now, but I know some cyber goths that be like, oh my god, it's such a great style and now I really have to dress up exactly like every other cyber goth I see. So I personally don't like the cyber locks, locks biomask and crazy things, boot warmers. No, I don't like that. Be individual, create your own style. And that's the same thing with the normal goth. You know, uh, I mentioned before, goth came from punk. And punks don't buy their clothes, they make them themselves. Be a little punk. You don't have to be a very big punk, be a little punk. Be ind individual. Try to make up your own style. For example, what have I done today? I, I got these panties and I, ma I made holes in that and I wear that on my arms. Yeah, with some um, fucking hand gloves, uh, a fucking chain on my on my uh, spiky thing, and a shirt. Uh, try to make you try try to create a little own style, and it it can be black. Of course, most of the goths goths wear black, and if you want to be noticed by other goths. Wear black if you want. So, that are the most things I can tell you about how to be goth. And uh, yeah, like I said, very quick, be individual, don't be a tourist, be goth for a long time. Know a bit about your own style. You, you just have to know where it started, why it started, and maybe a few bands where, uh, where it started. So yeah, that are mostly three of the facts and if you keep that in mind, I think you will be a very good goth. Well, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you got any questions, leave a comment below, uh, write me a message, uh, write me on Facebook, I will put a link in the description, call me or whatever. Thanks for watching, have a nice night.